with all the buzz about orbs and drones in the sky, how amazing would it be to capture one using Pixel 8 Pro? This continues to be the twilight zone, and I feel like Carrie and Homeland with the boys. I'm witnessing a portal Why does it have to be a classified up? briefing if these are just hobbyist drones? That it's a fugazi, it's a wazi, it's a woozy, it's a fairy dust. It doesn't exist. It's never landed. It is no matter. It's not on the elemental chart. It, it's not fucking real. Maybe. Why not? But for today, let's talk about how astrophotography works on Pixel 8 Pro and share some tips to increase your chances of capturing a stunning sky image. Let me first show you how to use it on your phone. Start by placing your phone on a tripod or any steady surface. Switch your camera to night side mode. Go to the bottom left corner, swipe up and turn on astrophotography auto. Then set the focus to far. When the shutter icon changes from a moon to stars, tap it. Once you hit the shutter, a four minute countdown will start. So that's the main setup. But to get the best possible results, do not skip these next steps. First one, find a dark location away from city lights. To shoot this video, we drove to Mono Lake, which is an excellent place to observe one of the most spectacular Milky Way skies. If you're not sure where to start, use a light pollution map to find the clear skies near you. Second one, once you've chosen your location, timing is crucial. Aim for a cloudless, clear night. This can be tricky sometimes as forecasts are not always reliable, so you'll need to take a leap of faith. Third one, shoot during a new moon for the darkest skies, even some moonlight can diminish the visibility of stars. The key is to avoid all light sources. And finally, dress warmly. I like to bring heat pads, hats, gloves, snacks to stay comfortable. You might think you know how long you'll be out, but it's easy to lose track of time as you fine tune your camera or reposition for that perfect shot. Although I recommend following these steps, I couldn't fully stick to them myself. By the time I decided to shoot at Mono Lake, the moon wasn't in an ideal phase. And with only a week before snow was forecasted to blank the area, I had to test the phone's astrophotography feature to create this video. But I have some shots, take a look at them, these are from that night. I also recommend editing them either directly on the phone or if you have access to Lightroom, that's an even better option. So my phone did not overheat, even after several four minute sessions of shooting the night sky, and I bet some of you are curious about that. If you have any other questions though, feel free to drop them in the comments and I'll do my best to answer them. Astrophotography is such a hot topic when it comes to phones, and I'm excited to share my examples with you. And who knows, maybe I'll even run into some of those drones or orbs everyone's talking about. On December 30, the moon will be in its new moon phase with 0% illumination. I'm hoping for clear skies and preparing to brave the cold. So stay tuned, it'll be my first video of 2025. In the next video, I'll dive into another exciting topic, the video settings on Pixel 8 Pro. By the way, I'm using it to film it right now. Isn't it amazing? Yeah, we definitely need to talk about it. If you're enjoying this series, don't forget to like and subscribe so you don't miss what's coming next. I'll see you on the next one.